uh, anyway, the getting the snip could become the law in American state of, in the American state of Alabama. Um, they basically order could be ordering men to get a vasectomy when they turn fifty, or they've had three children. It's a response to Alabama's abortion ban, which was recently blocked by a federal judge. So if the federal if the sterilization decree is passed, it would join a long list of other strange statues statutes from the other side of the pond. And here's some of them. Um, in Arizona, apparently these are true. I don't you have to check them, but in Arizona it's strictly forbidden to allow donkeys to sleep in bathtubs after seven o'clock. That's got to be bollocks, isn't it? I mean, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Florida, it's illegal to pass wind in a public place after 6pm on a Thursday. It's also a crime to tie up an elephant at a parking meter without paying for it. It's, I think they're fucking... Are these on drugs in this country? Uh, these are the politicians you want. The politicians who are just making up crazy laws. The rest of the time, it's just... Do the fuck what you like. Loot the place because you, as long as you're not tied up an elephant, you, you, you're free to do as you please. Getting a fish drunk in Ohio could get you in trouble, as will undressing in front of a portrait of a man if you're a woman. Don't let your chicken cross the road in Quitman, Georgia. It's against the law. Um, I've not fucking... I should have highlighted some of these. In Massachusetts, you may not drive with a gorilla in the back seat. Uh, never try to sell your eyeballs in Texas. I sold some eyeballs to somebody in Texas once. That's another story. But they were um, I, they were fake eyeballs. They were like what the remember the ones that you use um, medical eyeballs. You know, like when somebody's got a glass eye and they they have those eyes and they, and they get one that matches theirs. It fits their eye socket. It's all sort of sort of different weird shapes and sizes. But they are. They're really weird and they look like eyes. And they actually used to use them in dolls' eyes. Um, uh, if you look at the dolls in the horror films and stuff like that, they've always got eyes that are like humans, haven't they? And they're like fucking so freaky. Or oh, normal dolls from the 50s or earlier. They're freaky anyway. Forget the horror films. It's because they use eyes that are from this same company that used to make these fake eyes for humans. And the do they used to make them for the dolls as well. So there you go, you learn something. But I sold them to uh, a woman in Texas. So uh, she, that was a legal move. I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I think she was in Texas anyway. She was in America, but uh, yeah, it was all right. The collectible, funnily enough, but I just, uh, don't ask me why I had them. I mean, I, I, I dabble in a bit of uh, uh, collectibles and stuff like that. So I happened to come by them and I sold them to uh, a weirdo in America. So. Don't blame me if they turn up in some kind of weird what uh, witchcraft situation, you know, a load of fucking real eyes taken out and with the, the fake doll's eyes pushed in the head after, instead. And they'll be like, where did we get these from? Let's check it all the way back. Trail's gone now, it was years ago. Uh, 